Oh, ho, 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 I am so happy right now. Hello, everybody. My name is Provis, and welcome back to Frostpunk. Now, in our last series with The Last Autumn, I was pretty darn sure that that was going to be the last expansion for Frostpunk, but then they had to go and make me a liar because we have a new expansion called On the Edge, which was released as of today, August 20th. I only just got home. Of course, I was counting down the hours, waiting to get back and download the game, and here we are, and I'm going to jump right into things. Now, we have a new scenario which looks pretty fun, called On the Edge. This is after New London has already survived the Great Storm, and now we are starting to expand the reach of civilization, setting up new outposts, etc. So, looks like we are going to be managing an outpost on behalf of New London, gathering up supplies and sending it back to the city in exchange for other resources, and just trying to scrape out a living here as long as we can. After the Great Storm has exposed an army warehouse, we are sent from New London to set up an outpost there. Times are changing. What will be our role in the coming fall? All right, sounds like fun. Let's give it a go. All right, now there was a pretty nifty little cutscene, but I'm not going to be showing that because, again, I don't want to take the risk of any sort of copy striking. Suffice it to say that we have been sent out by New London to survive in the snows and gather up resources to send back. In exchange for the resources we send them, they will give us food. But there's sort of an implication in that cutscene that deals change all the time, and we might get screwed by New London. I'm not sure yet. We are the Outpost Team. The Great Storm has uncovered an underground army Army warehouse from times before the evacuation. New London sent us here to build an outpost and gather any resources we find. We must rely on New London for food. There are no animals to hunt here and the ground is solid rock. Thankfully, the weather is fine for now, so we should survive without the generator until we have other ways of heating. Okay, let's get to work. Now, the cutscenes seem to imply we were kind of in a narrow, like, chasm, so I'm a little worried that we're not going to have a lot of space. It sure as heck looks like that might be the case. Hello, balloon. All right, so we have one of those. No generator. That is going to be interesting. No heat sources. Okay, we know what to do. Our first task, it to... Really? The first round of text in the game and there's a typo? Our first task is to clear the road to the warehouse and start gathering steel. And of course, let's not forget to set up some tents. The night is going to be cold without a generator. Okay. So we have a little bit of raw food, but not much. We have 65 people we need to house. That means I need to build seven tents, and we only have 30 wood. Um, taking a look at the map along over here, I see we've got some ruins over here. Steel and wooden ruins, it looks like. We have more wooden crates, some coal we can gather. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. There's the steel wreckage, and it looks like this is the army warehouse. What is this thing? Huge underground warehouse built by the army for an unknown purpose. Preserving the Imperial domination in the world after the apocalypse, perhaps. Okay, and it looks like it is a consistent source of steel if we can get it, but first we have to get the steel wreckage. We have 65 working adults, 50 laborers, and 15 engineers. So let's start with the engineers gathering up steel. But beyond that, what we probably want is a heck of a lot of wood. So let's go ahead and focus on as much of that as we can. Uh, we could gather some coal, but without a generator, I mean, what's the temperature look like? It's not that bad yet. Maybe we're okay. Yeah, let's just let's just go ahead and gather up as much wood as we can because there's a lot of things that I need to construct today, mainly starting with the tents. So let's go ahead and plan out a few of those. And that's going to have to do. Seven tents? That's a pretty tall order for me right now, but I guess we can give it a go. Um, we actually could pull you guys back and let them build uh, before it gets too um, close to nighttime, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Let's just go ahead and build some more. Uh, we need one. Okay, so that's going to be all of our tents planned out. Uh, other things that we can build, let's see. We can build a medical post. That'll be good. We can build a cookhouse. We do have some raw food, so we need to get one of these going ASAP. We can build a gathering post and a resource depot. Okay, uh, and then beyond that tech, we have a beacon already built and a workshop. So we can get some technology, even though it's not showing up down here. Looks to me like the books of laws are... No, they are available. So we can do one of these right away. Okay, um... Well... We could go for things like soup. Um... Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. The laws are signed by New London. We can't pass our own laws. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, only New London can pass laws for me. I'm not sure what that means, and I'm not sure how to feel about it yet, but okay. Well, we'll give that one a go. Um, we do want to get one of those cookhouses going. 
so I can get people some food. I uh, can't place you right there. Can't place there. We can fit um, a workshop here. If I place you right here, this will fit. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna place down a cookhouse, build one of those up. And uh, we probably should also be getting things like medical posts. That'll fit nicely right here, actually, so let's not worry about the rest. Um, and then, yeah, workshop right here. You know, let's just, this is enough people to work on for the moment. Let's just go ahead and work on this, get as much wood together as possible. We've actually got a pretty reasonable amount of steel coming out of the wreckages in this area. And it is going to be cold, okay. Get in touch with New London. Now we need to rebuild the transport depot so we can get supplies shipped from New London before food runs out. To get in touch with them, an outpost administration will be necessary. Okay, what is that? Um, and also, what's a transport depot? Hang on. There's a transport depot. Okay, so it's... Oh, it's this thing. Ah, okay. I was wondering what this was. Um, so we have a big structure here, and it looks like we can place a transport depot which is going to be where I'm going to receive my food. Kind of like how we received special resources in the um, uh, the last autumn. Uh, and the shipping, uh, the shipping um, routes were bringing us resources to the penal colony. Same concept here, I'm guessing. So we'll place one of these down. And then in people, there's administration. Okay. Um, actually fits very nicely right here. So you should probably place the administration building in that area in a little bit. But for the moment, let's worry about this. I do want to get some uh, people cooking. We can survive one day without food. That's not an issue. Let's pull back here, and then we'll assign five people. 40 uh, raw food is not going to last a very long time. So I guess I'm not especially worried about um, having these people assigned here permanently. But we can go ahead and just do it quickly, and then we'll reassign them as necessary. We'll have to do some micromanagement, but that's not too bad. How warm is it right now? Not bad. Pretty livable, and yet people are getting sick anyway. That's not good. Uh, okay, so that means we do need to get ourselves a medical post. I have the resources for it. Let's place one down. And we might as well construct it tonight while people aren't doing anything else more important, right? Yeah, so we'll get one of those going. Okay, everyone is out and about. Um, we need to free up some engineers. Only had 15, right? Yeah, let's pull these back. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to sign you guys over here. And that should take care of the four people who are currently sick. And hopefully we'll treat them and get them back on their feet quickly. Just because without a heat source, I'm kind of worried that this is going to turn into a quick death spiral where we're not going to have enough food if I'm not careful. Am I crazy for thinking that? I don't know. Maybe. All right. So we are already taking all of the raw food. It looks like it's going to be getting cold pretty soon. And that is all the raw food we've got. All right. Let's get back down to the wreckage and gather up what little steel remains so it doesn't look like it's going to be much. And it is gone. Oh, BKB. Um, what else we want to do? Let's see. Probably should gather up some more steel. So let's go here and probably should just gather some more wood, to be honest. I think that's going to be very important. So we'll do some of that. Getting plenty of wood at the moment. Let's go to tech and build up a workshop. I do think I'm going to want one of those. And now that the army warehouse is revealed, we'll need to build a road here just to make it a little bit faster for people to get around. But we can assign people down here and get some steel. So let's see. A road like this probably is warranted. Okay, and they're actually already working on it. Thank you very much. Okay. Looking okay at the moment. So with all of this taken care of, we probably should go ahead and build the administration. This is something that we know we're going to need. We also need to get a transport depot so we can get more raw food and get some much-needed meals. So we'll start working on those next, probably. Think that'll end up being okay. I mean, unless there's a really good reason to not get this stuff right now. You never know. Like, if this is my first time playing this scenario. I'm going into this blind. Sometimes in Frostpunk, there are, like, meta strategies where you should ignore certain steps because then it triggers something else. I don't know. Maybe building these is just going to make things harder and, like, new challenges appear. And if I hold out a little bit longer, we'll be fine. But I don't know that. Let's just give it a go. Let's see what happens. New London. Oh, okay. We have communication here. Good day, Outpost 11. Well done with the progress so far. We'll send you the first food shipment soon. Now that the operation is established, we await the first batch of steel from your outpost. In the meantime, we are dispatching a group of clerks to run the outpost administration. Your children will arrive with them. They are surely eager to rejoin you. Remember that we can always assist you with any problems. Okay, interesting. Now, this does open up what seems to be a new diplomatic system that was introduced into the game. At least in Endless Mode, they talk about there being other settlements that you can communicate with and have standing with and trade, maybe even conquer. So it's going to be very interesting to see what this uh, this scenario introduces here, but I'm, I'm curious. So we have to talk. Um, we read you loud and clear. How's the operation? What is our task again? 
Your task is to explore the warehouse and retrieve as much steel as possible. We expect at least one shipment every few days. We'll be sending you food every day. Oh, okay, that doesn't seem too bad. We can say that we have problems. Um, if we say that we need more resources, though, it looks like our favor with them falls. And in fact, if we need more food, our favor will be exhausted. Ugh, that doesn't sound very good. Um, favor, what does that mean exactly, though? Um, administration. Ah, okay, here we go. Okay, so population in New London is 527. Favor is currently high, and that is our home city. Okay, so we can actually see them on the map and communicate with them from here. So there might be more settlements we can find and trade with instead of New London and become a bit more re self-reliant. That'd be great. Also, some places we could explore, all of which sound good, but probably not the highest priority at the moment. Uh, where are the rest of my engineers? So they are over here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's put these guys on research. I think that's going to be a bit more important. And now we have technology. What do we got? Braziers and heaters. Okay, not much available in terms of heating. I guess we don't have a, uh, a generator, so that makes sense. Beacon is already researched. Gathering resources. Uh, coal thumper and sawmill. Okay. So we will have a new source of coal, and we will be able to access the trees. So there is some more wood on the map. Faster gathering actually would be a very good thing for me to get, just because in the early game there's a lot for me to gather, so this would be worthwhile. We should definitely do that. Beyond that, food, nothing we can do yet? Oh, okay. So we have to go to the drawing boards if we want to upgrade the medical post and unlock the bunkhouse, which will probably cost a lot of resources that I don't have available. I don't know yet. This is odd. There must have been some mis uh, misunderstanding. Our children were not supposed to join us. Certainly not so soon. It won't make any things any easier for us. Well, it's too late to turn them back, and at least New London promised to also send food our way. Hopefully, they'll keep to the schedule. I don't like that hopefully word. There's not a lot of hope in Frostpunk. It's a dark and grim game. Okay? Um, so, if children weren't supposed to be with us, then I definitely feel like maybe New London is starting to screw us over and alter the agreement. Cue the Lando memes. Huh. Yeah, I'm not really sure how I feel about any of that. Somebody else got sick. Ridiculous. I'm already treating you, and it's not that cold yet. Why are you guys getting sick? How dare... Oh, gosh, more people are getting sick. Well, this isn't going to be good. People are definitely going to die. Uh-oh. Uh, we might actually have to build another medical post already. I, I don't like having to use up my engineers for that, but I know that I am going to need to keep these guys alive if possible. We could fit a second medical post right here. Kind of takes up a weird spot. I guess we could do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and get ourselves another medical post going. I have enough engineers to man these uh, both, as well as the workshop, and keep people uh, healthy. But yeah, if people are getting sick during livable conditions, well, then they're in for a rough surprise as the temperature starts to drop. Does that mean I have to build braziers? I didn't really plan on it, but I might not have a choice. Maybe we have to build braziers. Hmm, okay. Well, let's go ahead and continue gathering up all that wood. Uh, things are looking okay there. Actually, we can pull back here and... Yeah, we could go down to the army warehouse. I guess that's fine. Only 0.4 per hour is not a lot, though. Some more wooden piles have been uh, depleted. We can go ahead and continue working on this. Wood is the most important resource at the beginning of the game, no doubt about it. Oh, okay, what's this? Our children have arrived. Sir, the clerks sent by New London to run the outpost administration are here. They brought our children with them. Many of our people are really upset because it looks like our kids were neglected. They haven't had enough warm clothes, and some of them caught a cold on the way. But now that they are here, we can take proper care of them. Um... Is New London the baddie? Is that what's gonna happen here? I mean, because New London was like our city in like the beginning of the game, but it certainly seems like we're gonna start resenting them pretty darn quick if they're neglecting our kids and messing with us. I'm a little concerned about that. And yeah, sure enough, a lot of them are sick. Oh, God. Right, well, this is, this is definitely gonna become a problem. We're gonna get overwhelmed very quickly, aren't we? A trove of steam cores. Sir, we have great news. The warehouse contains an unknown but very large number of steam cores. We immediately sent the news to New London and await instructions. In the meantime, we might try to haul at least some of them to the surface. This will require stopping the steel extraction for some time. Okay, uh, well, hmm. We did get some more raw food and we need rations. Before it gets nighttime, we should go ahead and assi assign people to work on this for a moment. And start gathering up some more uh, simple meals just to keep people up and running. Looks like we were able to heal up a few folks, so that's good at least. And we have a message already. Oh gosh, okay. I kind of didn't want to tell New London that we have steam cores, because like, I don't have the resources to deal with that yet. But okay. We've heard that a cache of steam cores was found in the warehouse. 
This is a very timely discovery. These devices are critically important to the security of our city. Please send a couple of steam cores with each steel shipment from now on. Oh, come on. To help you ensure timely deliveries, you are hereby authorized to use emergency shifts. If you encounter any obstacles to your progress, talk to us, and we will find a solution. Oh, no. Well, emergency shifts almost always get somebody killed of a heart attack. I'm a little concerned about that. Maybe we don't have to use it? I don't know. Or maybe we do. Um, let's see. We're getting 1.2 per hour over here. I'm curious how much faster we could extract over here. I guess we didn't finish with the uh, faster gathering tech. We could use emergency shifts on the work store, uh, workshop. But again, I am positive that we will get a death. You almost always get at least one with emergency shifts. That just happens. It's pretty much inevitable. We've already used up all of our food rations. Ouch. Okay. Well, at least everybody is um, properly housed. And it's cold, but not that bad. Oh, man. Did I say that? Now people are getting sick. Okay. We definitely need to get Braziers then. If people get sick and die, then we've got a problem. We've got a pretty huge problem. I'm a little sad we can't get children to work over here. Looks like we have 15 prohibited children from working, and also a new worker class for the clerks. Ten of them, and they cannot work anywhere else. Hmm. Let's send out scouts. It's been days since we arrived, and we still only have a general idea of our surroundings. Let's send out scouts to look around and maybe gather some resources. Who knows what they'll find? The great storm has turned the countryside upside down. Well, that sounds all well and good, but like I don't have enough for the things that I'm doing right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm highly concerned about our health issues already. This is this is undoubtedly going to be a problem. We could place down a gathering post over here, and it would actually speed up some of our collection in a few key areas, so maybe we want to place one of these down real quick. Since no one else has anything better to do in the cold here, right? I mean, it's not work time yet. Okay, now we're about to finish the faster gathering. That's great. Um, as far as resources, this is new. Wooden supports allows us to use wooden supports to raise work efficiency in the army warehouse. Each use costs 50 wood and raises efficiency by 50%. Well, that seems all right. Hand carts increasing output by 20%. It looks like permanently. Okay. Um, I think we need to get braziers because it sure as heck looks to me like people will continue getting sick every night. And that's something I can't exactly handle. Uh, and I need to free up some of these engineers to work on more important tasks. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and send you guys to the gathering post. We'll be able to work a little bit more efficiently over here. Hopefully. Um, we are cooking up all those rations, so that seems to be just about done. Let's pull out of the cookhouse. Uh, where else could I send some people? Let's see. Well, we're already maxed out there. I guess we could just keep gathering steel. I'm curious, by the way. Five workers there and five workers here. How fast can we gather steel? It looks like potential is 1.1 right now. So it's about the same. No, nope, 1.4. It is about the same as an army warehouse then. Okay. So braziers are done. If we go to tech, we can place down these. Now, this is going to cost me coal every hour, which is obviously an issue. But I need heat. So we're going to place down some of those. And I probably... Let me think. I can probably... We don't have as many workers as I thought. Oh, we have 20 unemployed workers. Okay, let's get at least a few of you guys gathering up some coal at the coal pile. Um, we have enough wood, but we don't have a lot of steel. So I guess let's go ahead and start clearing out the uh, steel ruins over here. And we'll try for that. New technology required. Okay. Um, well... We could go for things with the sawmill. Don't think we need these yet. Hand carts would be good just because it's guaranteed to speed up my production in the army warehouse. We could use the emergency shifts, but at the moment, I think we might be okay. Though if it looks like... I mean, I don't know. I have no idea how soon we are expected to send a shipment of steel. No one has told me that is required yet, or at least I don't see a time frame. We might have to use the emergency shifts at some point. But maybe we can wait for a little while. I don't know. All right, so the braziers are running. Discontent has dropped significantly. That's great. So you guys, I will want to have only operating... Well, heating one and range one is fine. We can't turn these up yet. I was going to say we could turn these down during the work day. Because I only really want these on when people are living out here. But this, this is okay. This seems all right. I am concerned about our coal. We only have enough coal for a few more hours. So that means we definitely need to have more people working to gather from the coal pile. Huh. Okay, people are still getting sick despite the fact that we have heat. Wait a minute, that's not... Okay, something else is going on here. Um, 
maybe there's no way to avoid the fact that people are going to be getting sick. And if that is the case, then the Braziers were kind of worthless. Possibly. The good news is it is warming up a little bit, so discontent is going to drop back down. Nobody's died yet, so I'm going to call that a victory, I suppose. Um, I will turn you guys off during these times. And now things are still fairly livable, so let's not worry about that too much. I'm going to drop this back down to only 10. We still don't have any rations. I really hope that's going to arrive soon. Um, we will continue to gather up some more steel. Because we need more in order to send that back to New London. Because they demand it. What's this? New London. Is there a problem? You haven't dispatched the scheduled steel and steam cores. To help with fulfilling your duties, we grant you extended shifts. Okay. Well, I prefer extended shifts over um, the emergency shifts as a general rule. So, we will turn these on, and that does increase discontent, I'm aware. But, uh, it's a more manageable amount of discontent for a few extra hours of work. So, that seems sort of okay. Um, yeah, so they're definitely starting to get a little antsy down in New London. No problem. Uh, Ten hours isn't enough? No, it's not. It turns out New London demands more. Let's get some more people cooking up rations, because we're starting to run low again. Hand carts are researched. That will speed things up a bit. Um, so, we probably do actually need to research the wooden supports for that extra 50%. Because I think that's the only way we're going to be able to do this without having to make use of the emergency shifts. And if we have to use emergency shifts, like, that'll happen. So be it. Steel ruins are gone. Okay, so let's assign more people here. That's all of them. Um, but yeah, using that uh, in conjunction with the emergency shifts, I imagine we will start putting out an absolute ton of steel per hour. Gathering post resources have already been depleted? Wow. Uh, I will admit, I didn't expect that to happen. So, instead of deleting this, let's just go ahead and reduce the workers there. We've got enough um, steel here going. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. We'll just gather up the steel as fast as we can. We need to go and get some steam cores, I'm aware. But there's not a lot I can do there at the moment. So we're working these extra hours. Can I indeed get the hand carts? Not quite in time. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Well, let, let's just keep going. Let's try not to use the emergency shift. I just don't think I can afford to lose an engineer. An engineer lost if I'm not going to get reinforcements means that's one less doctor or researcher, which is obviously a pretty big problem. Uh, as far as heating, everything seems okay. I don't need to use the braziers for now. Let's just keep our coal pile going. And I can't fit anybody else down in here. Okay. Well, we got 70 steel. I mean, that's that's something, right? Maybe tomorrow we'll be able to finish this out. Maybe. Um, still don't see anything in here telling me exactly when I'm going to get in trouble, but I'm, I'm just guessing by the messages, based on context clues, that if I don't send resources soon, we're in trouble. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, now the hand carts are done. Or the wooden support, sorry. Uh, for technology, we could go for the coal thumpers and stuff. Heaters, not needed right now. The only thing I can research is, like, the sawmill or the drawing boards. We could research this, and this would give me access to a few new things, including mixed crews. Also, medical post upgrades, also bunkhouses. All of that's good. Um, I don't, I don't know. Let me see. Hang on. Sawmills? We have at least a little bit more wood here from Wooden Ruins. I think I saw another pile right here, so we got plenty of wood at the moment. Yeah, let's, let's go to the drawing boards and grab that technology instead. I think that's going to have to be fine. Uh, let's see. Everyone should be getting to work right about now. There's work time. Okay, so now we are going to turn on the wooden supports. And this will only work for like 12 hours, but we're going to get as much value out of this as possible. So the wooden supports suddenly means I'm getting 10.9 steel per hour, which is a pretty hefty amount. And there's the 100 I need. So let's swap over to steam cores. Switching will stop unloading for some time. I think that's going to have to be okay. Inoperative. Why? Switching to resource. Done. Okay. So now we are getting one steam core every five hours. That might not be fast enough. I think we might have to use an emergency shift. Still doing the best I can here. We can probably pull back a little bit on some of the uh, coal and instead start diverting a little bit more uh, toward uh, gathering up the wood over here. 
Clear out some space and stuff, you know? We got less food. Sir, workers unloading the last shipment of food from New London notice that it's quite a bit smaller than usual. The news is, of course, already over the out all over the outpost, causing much anxiety and anger among our people. Let's hope it's a mistake and not a sign of trouble at home. Uh, yeah, I'm a little concerned about that. Um, question. Uh, New London, can you possibly, like, pass a law for four poss- No. Okay. We could ask for more people, but then the favor will be exhausted. Ugh. I was gonna say, like, could we possibly ask you for some new laws that would let us pass, like, let's say, soup? And that way, even though you send me less raw food, I can get enough food rations to last. But I'm sort of feeling like that may not happen. Um, what's this? Sorry to inform you that due to circumstances beyond our control, your food supply will be reduced until further notice. We assure you that the shipments will return to the agreed size as soon as possible. We hope this inconvenience will not impede your progress. We expect you to keep the shipments on schedule. Keep up the good work. We don't have time to talk. Farewell. What?! Oh, no. I can already tell you the direction that this scenario is going, and by the end of this, I am going to hate New London. There's no way around it. All right, well, I think this is a good place to stop, but um, I'm doing the best I can not to exhaust my people too much, and I really cannot afford to have anybody die, but the work, shift, the work shifts here seem to be doing their job pretty well, and we are getting some steam cores. We've got one of the two. Very soon, we will be able to send our first shipment. And then what? I don't know, but we do want to get some scouts going. So yeah, we, we got we got a lot to figure out, ladies and gentlemen, a lot to figure out, but I'm working on it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you are as excited about the return to Frostpunk as I am. If so, then I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.